Hi, Wide Rainbows. Thank you for having me. My name is Anna Suhoy, and I make sculpture. Uh, I've been an artist for um, over 20 years. I primarily work in clay, although I have also made video and performance. I make drawings. I work outside. I've made art in the desert. I've made, I've made um, public sculpture for parks and university campuses. And I also make tiny wearable things. Um, I like to keep the spaces um, where I can create as myriad and multiple as possible. Um, I am interested in freedom and I'm against boredom. Um, and that's me. So the Cage Grotto sculptures start with um, a cage that I construct out of found metal. The found metal is usually dog crates, old bird cages, wire shelving that you would have in your closet, and industrial metal. And I build these structures out of all of these metals, and then I build um, wet clay arches around the cage. Um, as the clay dries, the metal stops it from being able to contract, and so it makes the clay crack. And when I fire the whole thing in the kiln, and um, the whole thing is exposed to extremely high temperatures, the metal begins to soften and slump. Um, so the materials are all impacting one another, um, and they're also being impacted by heat and transformed by heat. So I think this work is a lot about transformation and it's a lot about um, different materials in relationship leaving their mark on one another. Here is one cage grotto in progress that's fresh out of the kiln. So you can see this piece of metal completely fell over. Um, here, this arch uh, um, has a, a complete fracture, almost like a broken leg. But the whole thing is somehow stabilized, like the, the structure has um, deformed and cracked, but has also reached a new stasis. So the next step is to embed the metal and clay in this plaster riser and that kind of like um, gives it a strong foundation and we can um, move the sculptures around now because they have this, um, they're embedded in plaster. And when we're pouring the plaster, we color it. Um, and we, I, we've also been dropping in different other things like old studio clothes, um, pieces of drywall that the, that the sculptures were being fired on, and other found bits. Um, we've also been creating these, uh, what I've been calling denim worms, um, out of found denim that we've dyed. Um, with different colors of fabric dye, and then so, sewn into these um, tube shapes that mimic the arches of clay. And so we, we're, I've added one more texture and one more and multiple more colors. So I, I really feel like these are extremely maximalist sculptures. They have every single texture and color and um, that I can get in there. Um, and I want you to be able to look at these and be and want to stand in front of them for a really long time. And they're not done yet. I'm going to add more stuff. Um, this is just 
um, this is a table with some of the things that I'm going to add into the Cage Grotto environments. Um, I was just in the Central Coast and I was, I spent all my money at the shell shop. So here's an, um, my, my collection of shells. Um, these are some more of the denim worms that are waiting to be incorporated into the sculptures. Um, these are plaster tests, so I, I tested some of the colors that we could dye the plaster, and then also I'm thinking about um, adding color after the plaster has been set. These are older drawings. These are from about 2013, 2014. Um, they are observational drawings that I made with pencil and watercolor where I had just started making these grottos out of clay. These arched forms out of clay and I, and I was trying to understand what I had made. So, this is two views of the same sculpture, and they're about like this big, they're small. And this is two views of the same sculpture. So you can see that as you walk around these sculptures or as you look at different views, the, the shape changes quite a lot. Um, what I, a lot of what I make is really strange to even me, and um, I like to keep it that way um, I'm interested in um, using sculpture to explore ideas and spaces that are mysterious to me. This is a huge treasure trove of ice dyed jeans that um, Angelica and I made on Friday with my friend Tanya Aguiniga. She taught us ice dyeing. Um, first, Angelica went to the thrift store and bought as many white and light colored jeans as she could find. And then we brought them all to Tanya's studio and um, learned ice dyeing. So, a lot of the things before they get into my sculpture, they're found materials. They're found things, bought things, that then we work on a little bit, like dyeing, and then we also, then we end up stuffing these and sewing them into the worms. So things are really labor intensive. There's a lot of processes that we combine to make these sculptures. But right now we just have like a pile of really amazing jeans. Thank you for visiting the studio.